Hey traders, John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 23rd of October to the 27th of October 2017. I hope you all had a fantastic week last week and I hope you're having a great weekend. For those of you watching these videos for the first time, what we're going to do is we're just going to run through a number of currency pairs starting with the US dollar index and oil. And we're going to have a look at some of the key levels of support and resistance in those pairs. And we're also going to be outlining some of the targets that we're going to be looking for next week and also in the weeks ahead. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, you can see that the US dollar index is still making higher highs and higher lows. And the uptrend in the US dollar index is still intact. However, last week we ran into the key area of resistance around the 93.640 as highlighted from last week's weekly forex forecast and if you take the top and bottom of the previous range over here on the left you can see we also ran into the top and the highs over here from this previous area of consolidation so what this means is as long as the immediate trend is still intact which it is we are going to have a bullish bias on the US dollar index and we're going to be looking for further advances in the US dollar index up towards the target of the 94.63 however if we start to trade back down below the 93.635 we are going to potentially be looking for shorts and a changing our bias to bearish on the US dollar index for a potential pullback and a correction down towards the key areas of support at the 92.865 and the 92.565 respectively. Now, of course, it is always preferable to go into each week with a strong bias one way or the other. However, if you're in an uptrend and you're approaching key resistance or you're in a downtrend and approaching key support, you have to be prepared for price to go either way and you have to be prepared to adapt and change your bias potentially as more information comes in during the week. Next, we are going to have a look at oil. Now, oil capitulated last week and it sold off pretty hard, as you can see. And we broke below the key area of support at the 50.33. And with this sell off to the downside, you can see we are we have some volatility coming in here and we are forming the basis of a bear flag. Now, we don't have the corrective part of the bear flag yet but it looks like we have the pole. And if we start to get a correction and we start to see this kind of price action forming, certainly up towards the 49.94 area, which is a key area of support broken. If this becomes a area of support, which is broken and retested as resistance, this is going to provide a great opportunity to start to look for shorts and bearish formations and patterns in this area. And we're going to be looking for a trade down towards the 48.59, which is the next key area of support and the target in oil. Next, we have the euro US dollar and you can see in the euro US dollar, the downtrend that we are seeing here is still intact with lower lows and lower highs. So we are looking for further declines in the euro US dollar and we are getting a correction back into the key area of support turning resistance at the 1.17381. Now, this is a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns in this area where we get a retest of this resistance area. And if we start to see those bearish formations and patterns forming, this is a good place to start to look for shorts in the euro US dollar down towards, first of all, the target of the 1.16399. And if we can get through there, we're looking down towards a secondary target of the 1.15167. If, however, next week we start to get a sell off in the dollar index and we get a break back above this key area of resistance and the downward sloping trend line, as you can see, this could provide a good opportunity next week to start to look for bullish formations and patterns with a run potentially back up at the 1.18455 area. The next pair we're going to look at is the British pound US dollar. Now the British pound US dollar, as you can see, is trending to the downside. And we had this big sell off last week with price 
pushing all the way down roughly to the 1.30500 area. Now, what we'd like to see going into next week is a pullback and a preferably a retest of the 1.31550, which, as you can see, is a key area of support, not only here, but also back in the past. And if we get a test of this support turning resistance, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking for shorts down towards the target of the 1.29426 on the pound US dollar next week. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, the US dollar Japanese yen spent a lot of last week ranging, as you can see here. Now, we still are looking up towards the targets of the 113.603 and also the 114.288, which were both highlighted last week, but not actually accomplished. Now, if we get a pullback and a test, as you can see, of the bottom of this range over here, we have this kind of sideways move. If we get price pulling back into this area, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking back up to the targets as highlighted from last week if we get those bullish formations and patterns. And as long as price stays above the 112.117 key area of support, we're going to have a bullish bias on the US dollar Japanese yen next week looking for long opportunities. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now, the Aussie US dollar did break down below key areas of support last week. And as a result, we go into this week looking for a correction to take place. And if we can get a test of the 0 0.78160, which is confluence of the downward slope in trend line denoted by these highs over here, as well as the horizontal area of resistance, support being broken as resistance, then this is going to provide a great place to start to look for shorts, to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns to appear. And we're looking down towards targets next week, which are fairly close together, of the 0 0.77122 and also the 0 0.76982. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, New Zealand US dollar is trending to the downside and we are looking for further declines next week in the New Zealand US dollar. What we would like to see first of all, though, is a pullback and a correction to take place so we can get a discount on this price and we can actually short this pair at a better price than it currently sits. And if we get a pullback to the key area of support broken and a retest of this key area of support, which is broken, turning as resistance, at the 0 0.71429, this is going to be a great place to start to look for shorts and to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns in order to trade down towards the target, which we have highlighted here at the 0 0.70212. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now you can see the US dollar CAD has been in an uptrend here in the four hour chart for a while making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, etc. And we go into next week with price forming a bull flag, which is a continuation pattern to the upside. Now, in order to get the best risk to reward ratio on this pair and for this trade, ideally, we'd like to see maybe a little bit of consolidation before a pullback and a retest of the key area of support at the 1.25009. And this is going to provide this type of price action will provide a fantastic place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking those patterns, taking those longs up towards the next target and the key area of resistance, the upside of the 1.26325. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro Pound. Now, the Euro Pound has been trending to the upside, as you can see, making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. So ideally, we're not looking to fight this. We are looking to continue this to the upside, and we're looking for further advances in the Euro Pound. What we would like to see is a correction so we can get a discounted price and potentially a pullback into the key area of support at the 0 0.89260. And if we get a pullback and we get this kind of price action, this is going to provide a great opportunity to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking up towards the targets of the 0 0.90275. 
and also the 0 0.91124. Now, if the key level of support at the 0 0.89260 fails to hold, we could be on for a deeper correction down towards the 0 0.88510. However, just to reiterate, we are looking really to trade with this trend and with this push to the upside. So we really want to be looking for those bullish formations and patterns in this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound yen. Now, the pound yen, after forming a reversal head and shoulder pattern over here and actually break into the downside, you can see actually broke the neckline, has started to decline. And we are seeing some weakness now in the British pound. So we're looking for further declines next week in the pound yen. Now, ideally, we'd like to see some correction take place first because then we can look to get a better price on this pair. And if we can get a pullback to the key area of support broken, turning resistance at the 148.473, this would provide a fantastic place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we start to get those bearish formations and patterns, we will be looking down towards the targets for shorting at the 146.152. And if we can get through there, we're going to be looking for a secondary target down towards the 144.518 in the pound yen. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie yen. Now a similar pattern here in terms of a head and shoulders in the Aussie yen, you can see and we also have a break of the neckline as of last week. So we're looking for further declines in the Aussie yen now. Preferably, we would like to see a pullback as price is still pushing to the downside and it's pushing down near the lows. Now, if we can get a correction and a retest of broken support turning resistance at the 87.967, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and start to look for those patterns to take shorts down towards the first target we have the 87.269 and we're going to be looking if we can get through there for a secondary target down towards the 86.561 on the Aussie yen. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie New Zealand. Now the Aussie New Zealand is in a range as you can see and last week it came back up to test the top of the range at the 1.09665. So this is a key area of resistance and we're going to look for this range to hold. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns pretty much where we sit right here. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts. As long as we stay below this range top over here, we're going to be looking to initiate those shorts down towards the target of the 1.08317, which as you can see is the bottom of the range. And it would be nice as well if we can get a break of the bottom of the range and a continuation of the overall downtrend, in which case, if we do get that kind of price action, we're going to be looking for a secondary target of the 1.07613 in the Aussie New Zealand. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, if you like this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. For everybody who does that on a regular basis, you know that I appreciate you guys and I really, really do appreciate that. I hope you all continue to enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you'll have a fantastic week next week, a very profitable week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.